Hello guys, welcome to Nick Society and on Uprint, I'm joined by Varun and Manoj. Hi, guys. And today Hi. we are checking out the teaser for the Lord of the Rings, the Ring of Power uh, series coming out on Amazon Prime. And it's coming out in September, we are getting a first teaser, so let's have a look at it. And again, if you enjoyed this, do like, share and subscribe. Haven't you ever wondered? Whoa. Nice. Money will spend. There's wonders in this world, <laughs> beyond our wandering. Already liking the soundtrack. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, nice. Wow, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Before the fellowship. Oh, nice. You have failed this. <laughs> Before the ring. Whoa. Okay. okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. oh, in all languages. Nice. Including Malayalam. That's good. <laughs> That's <was> quite short. <laughs> I think okay. it, it did what it wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, it was right? a teaser. Yeah. yeah. It just yeah. showed us the world and. Yeah. It gave a very good glimpse of the world and the scale which they are attempting it. Yeah, like it's not going to be one of those TV shows based on a big property, but shot in a corridor. Like you know, it's. <laughs> yeah. you know, I think it's the most expensive TV. One show billion today. dollars. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I mean, mm. they can definitely see the budget being spent in this yeah. And the soundtrack is good. Uh, to be very honest, I'm a little bit out of touch with Lord of the Rings. It's been a yeah. while, so mm. Same I, with me. I'll probably yeah. rewatch the whole thing again and then watch the series. And yes, I definitely do a... have to rewatch. Yeah. yeah. Not the Hobbit, right? No, no. <laughs> that we can rewatch in two x <laughs> fast forward speed. <laughs> or I'll I'll just watch a summary. <laughs> or we'll just read the Wikipedia. <laughs> but you know, uh, like uh, we'll definitely be doing a live stream talking about Lord of the Rings films. Uh, so mm -hmm. do stick around for that when the show comes out. But uh, I feel like you know when I saw, I still remember the I saw the longer versions of the film, like in yeah. in, two, oh, in two nights, you know, in a stretch, and I was oh. just blown away, you know, by the world. Then uh, I remember, oh, I heard this Hobbit also, but I'm like, ah, I don't care about the character and all. But then I watched the Hobbit. The movies are okay, but again, you know, I fell in love with the world. I was so mm -hmm. into it, you know, what's happening with Gandalf and there's so many different characters and the films are actually building up to the Lord of the Rings movies. So, you know, it's like mm. you, it's like a connecting tissue and you are less invested sure. with everything. Yeah. That's what I enjoyed in Hobbit. That That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, yeah. you know, again, I would like, I would love to, you know, go into the world again because it's, it's mm. so rich. I think uh, like uh, Tolkien, right? Yeah. G.R.R. Yeah. Tolkien. He has mm. like, like he has created like 2000 years of history for the world mm -hmm. and that's just amazing dude you know True. so uh, they, have, they have so much left to explore and even if this is a prequel series still it would be very very interesting to see you know how the world began and like whatever mm -hmm. we see but True, uh, even the scope of it it would be like you know nothing uh, you know left like mm -hmm. they have spent everything on it it's lot of the rings True. it would be that high budget as you said, you know, yeah. the visuals, they are putting that money into work and it will not be just a crappy thing. They just shot on green screen, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. It looks really well. Like, there was not even one shot where I was like, oh, it looked, I feel like, it looked really good. I mean, it looked very well, I, but I, I think, you know, Lord of the Rings, at least the original movies, like, they still had a lot of, uh, you know, practical, like practical effects, you know. filmmaking yeah. and practical yeah. effects going on. Like especially you know to show the size of the hobbits there was mm. no like cgi used yeah. it was just like perspective, perspective yeah. they were like you know tricking i wonder bit. if they so, did the same yeah that's what that's i'm interested to know like what are things from that that they have like brought <laughs> but i mean the title the title animation which they did the release three weeks back that was all done practically so like uh, maybe they oh. did touch it up with cgi but like the fire yeah. all going to the title and everything like the smoke mm. everything was done practically so maybe they are following like maybe not all the way but you you of might course, see yeah. like a lot of influences of practical filmmaking and we are looking forward to the trailer which will drop soon but also checking out all the films again and you know maybe the director's cut if not uh maybe. the theatrical cuts but uh we'll be checking them out mm -hmm. and do join us for that live stream whenever it happens and again if you enjoy it like subscribe we'll see you next time keep being out